What's up guys, I'm back today with another video. In this one, I'm going to be telling you which of the three mainstream Battlegrounds games is the best. So, for our contenders, we have the least popular, based on One Piece, Fruit Battlegrounds, the second uh, most popular, Jujutsu Shenanigans, which is based off of Jujutsu Kaisen, and then the strongest Battleground, the most popular and most well-known, based off of One Punch Man. All of these things are completely diverse and almost completely different. And without any further ado, let's start off with our first contender, the Strongest Battlegrounds. So, as I said earlier, the Strongest Battlegrounds is based off of the anime One Punch Man, which I'm not going to be covering in this video, I'll only be covering the games. And this is the most popular out of all of them, it's been around for a while, and there are multiple components of this game. So, the first thing is the characters list. You can switch between the strongest hero, Hero Hunter, Destructive Cyborg, Deadly Ninja, Brutal Demon, Blade Master, and Wild Psychic. Martial Artist is Early Access. So, each of these classes have their own skills. For example, I'm using Destructive Cyborg right now. It has Machine Gun Blows, Ignition Burst, Blitz Shot, and Jet Dive. Those are all unique to its character. Say, for example, if I were to switch to Wild Psychic... Bleh. Come on, reset already, buddy. Come on. Okay, there you go. If I were to switch to Wild Psychic, my abilities would be Crushing Pull, Windstorm Fury, Stone Coffin, and then Explosive Push. All of the classes are unique, and although there is only seven of them available to the public, all of them are considered really good, and they're actually all pretty fun to play. Now, the Strongest Balkans community, it's a bit iffy. Half the community is extremely nice and funny, 45% of the community is extremely toxic, and then the remaining 5% is just NPCs. The skill leveling in this game, you're either a complete noob, or a complete pro. There's barely any middle. For example, for example, I'm in the middle. I have a thousand kills. Most people considered pros have like 4,000, 5,000 kills. Noobs, 100 to 200 kills. This game is has a lot of variety, but it's kind of limited to what classes you choose and how good you are with them. Also, the strong Battlegrounds community seems to have some sort of weird obsession with this animated character called KJ, which they are hoping to see in the next update. The Strongest Battlegrounds updates extremely frequently. Well, not extremely frequently. It upgrades relatively quickly compared to the other games, with an update being released around once every month or so. But these updates aren't necessarily for everybody. These updates mainly add to the newest early access class, for now, Martial Artist. Martial Artist has, um, four moves, but it has no ultimate. I will be telling you about ultimate in a little bit. So, it said, it said on screen, this character is in early access, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And that basically means that it's not being done, it's not done yet. They still have to finish it. And the updates are mostly focused on finishing these characters and getting them out free to the public. Now, about Ultimate. So basically, Ultimate is this little bar at the bottom, which you can charge up. And once you use it, your moves become super powerful and deal insane amounts of damage. Most people use Ultimate just to farm kills, while others use it just to troll noobs. Now, I'll be right back with you when I have my ultimate. Alright everybody, I now have my ultimate, which is called Maximum Energy Output on Genos. And trust me, there are a lot of more ultimates, and based on your personal preference, a lot of cooler ones. I like Genos the most, so I'm going to be showing you it. When you activate your ultimate, usually by pressing G, you do a little animation. It's usually something very cool, plays music, does a little effect, and all my moves have changed. Thunder Kick, Speedless Drop Click, Flame Wave Cannon, and Incinerate. Thunder Kick, it's just, it's an extremely good move with very high AoE, much better than Machine Gun Blows. 
Flame Wave Cannon, a giant beam of energy, way better than Blitz Shot. Speedless Drop Kick. A speedless drop click, that's all you can really say. Ex uh, a very much better than Ignition Burst. And then Incinerate. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better than Jet Dive. So basically, ultimates are an extreme power up for your character. And that's it for the strongest battlegrounds. Let's move on to fruit battlegrounds. So, this is Fruit Battlegrounds. This is one of the three worlds that Fruit Battlegrounds has. Whole Cake. This is the second world you get. Fruit Battlegrounds is like the strongest Battlegrounds, with the same functions, such as M1s, moves, um, but not ultimate, sadly enough. However, it has an insane amount of variety. So, this is just one fruit that I'm using that gives me some specific powers. There's like 27 other fruits, all ranging in power level. A bad thing about this game is that power scaling or th the difference in power and skill of people is completely unbalanced. Your skill is not only based on how good you are at actually comboing and attacking people, but based on your level, which is shown in the top right, in the top left corner here, I'm level 100. You need to get to level 300 to actually be able to get all the damage out of your fruit. Look, if I use this move, Scorching Fist, it gives me 2% of the XP needed to get to the next move. It takes an average of, I don't know, probably it would take you. 30 hours just to max out your average fruit, which is why, even though it's against the rules, most people use macros to level up their fruits, and that's a huge problem, because it's not just based on skill, it's based on how much time you want to waste actually macroing. Another bad thing is, um, usually, noobs can get paired up, um, in low-level in the lowest level of map with extremely high level pros who who, who <coughs> excuse me who actually know what they're doing this also means that noobs can't really enjoy the game as much as pros can also the last map w wano basically never used for combat only used for the kaido fight which is required to upgrade your fruit which is another feature in this game you can upgrade your base fruit, say Flame V1, to Flame V2 by getting it to level 300 and then defeating the boss Kaido five times. And that's also another thing about this game: bosses. In each map, there's a specific there's a specific boss: Marco for Dress Rosa, Cake Queen for Whole Cake Island, which is where I am right now, and then Kaido for Wano. Each of these gives a an amount of ex exp based on what, uh, how much damage you do. They may also extremely rarely drop the fruit that they are using, which is almost always an insanely powerful fruit. And uh, usually people swarm to the boss fights, making it impossible to deal enough damage. There's always people at the boss fights not looking out to kill the boss, just looking out to kill you. Fruit Battlegrounds has an amazing combat system, it's just that its leveling system and its community of skilled pros and I have no idea what I'm doing noobs is extremely bad. So yeah, this game is extremely one-sided based on whether you are a pro or a noob. That being said, let's move on to the last one on our list, Jujutsu Kaisen. But Jujutsu, <laughs> I said that with such confidence, Jujutsu Shenanigans. Alright, now we're in Jujutsu Shenanigans, which is the second most popular game on the list, and is also the newest. It's based off the anime, anime Jujutsu Kaisen, which is also a super popular anime. This game has most of the same mechanics as the Strongest Battlegrounds. Emotes... Uh, the same character, not the same characters list, but the same version of characters, a dummy, the same combat system. It's the same thing, but just 
based off of uh, Jujutsu Shinigami, I mean Jujutsu Kaisen instead. It's the same thing, like, M1s are the same, blocking is the same, moves aren't the same, but they have the same system. That's basically the main way of making a Battlegrounds game. Fruit Battlegrounds is a little bit different. There isn't very much different than from the Strongest Battlegrounds and Jujutsu Kaisen. It's, there's nothing really saying which is better. It's just a, based off of personal preference and the fact that the Strongest Battlegrounds is probably more refined and is older, having more characters for you to play around with. Uh, something sp something special about Jujutsu Shenanigans is that everybody is a sweat. You basically can't play the game if you're a noob, which is one problem. There's always half the server being a sweat that never touches grass, unlike you, who probably goes outside a couple of times a day. Now, that being said, which one really is the best? Personally... I think it's the strongest battlegrounds, mainly because the community is better and the skill level is easier to overcome. There's a lot of variety, and the combat system is really good. Fruit battlegrounds and Jujutsu Shenanigans both have things to work on. If Jujutsu Shenanigans had more characters, it would easily be a strong contender for the strongest battlegrounds. It's just that it's newer and doesn't have the same level of popularity or the same amount of people working on it for it to actually have as much variety. Fruit Battlegrounds beats out both of these games in terms of variety. It has over tw over 25 um, different types of powers that you can have. Some of these are low quality, some of them are high quality. So it definitely beats both of these out in, in terms of variety. However, it's leveling system and the skill level, it's just not very good at all. All being said, I'm my ranking for now is the Strongest Battlegrounds, Jujutsu Shenanigans, and Fruit Battlegrounds. Fruit Battlegrounds would be way higher on this list, probably in second, maybe even first, if they just got rid of that dumb leveling system. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked the video. And, um, be sure to tell me what other content you want me to do in the comments down below. I'm really looking out to see what my viewers, you guys, want me to post. Alright, that'll be it for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.